I guess, post run here. And today, let's talk about how to get a six link at League Start. And uh, right behind me, you can see the reason why actually a lot of people quit the game. It is, of course, the dreaded or refusing. Now, I remember back to, I think it was 2014 when I tried to get my first six link. It was back then a belly of the beast. I was a complete noob. I didn't know what I was doing. And I remember putting like 3,000 or refusings into it and just not getting anything and rage quitting the league. For every pixel here, there's a Path of Exile player crying and going back to play Diablo. But thankfully, over the years, GGG has uh, given us quite a few interesting ways to get our six link at league start or in general. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make at league start is actually misallocating their resources into six links that it could have gotten way cheaper if they just knew how to acquire it. So with the league around the corner, I thought I would make a little bit of catch all video where I kind of go over all the methods that are at least cheaper than uh, spamming or refusings on your stuff. And uh, we have to first start out with Tabula Raza. Now, Tabby is one of the most sought after items at League Start, obviously, and that is mostly because the sockets are flexible. We'll have stuff down the line which actually has stats, but it doesn't have this flexibility, which is especially good if you didn't plan out your League Starter. Maybe you didn't have time to, maybe you want to play a new skill and you don't know what's going on, right? Uh, you can always redo your sockets with some of the other options on this list. Maybe you're not as lucky. Uh, if you want a red socket instead of a green socket, that could cost you a ton of chromatic orbs or even vol orbs. Another big upside for Tabby is for spellcasters or damage over time builds, the kind of things that uh, scale really well with plus two gem levels, which I maybe should actually put here. Um, you can easily get that plus two on a Tabula Raza because people are just corrupting it randomly. Maybe they're finding it randomly from a divination card. And for a lot of those skills, plus two usually means around about 20 to 24% more damage, which at that point would mean it's basically a seven link. But next up, let's talk about something a little bit more spicy, which is corrupted six links. Now, Corrupted Six Links have a lot of upsides and a lot of downsides. The biggest upside is you actually get stats on it. Now, you might not think much of this because it's just a little bit of life, right? Um, but you really have to think about the whole picture. This random resistance right here could really fix your gear. Your gear is not going to be perfect. You're coming out of, I don't know, campaign or white maps, and you really have to scrounge to get capped and still have enough damage. And at some point, you also have to get spell suppression, right? Basically, everything on here is somehow useful. Now, even that little bit of extra evasion can completely carry your survivability sometimes because you just have very low survivability, usually on leak start. So getting new stats is especially huge. Also, if you need spell suppression, this is going to be a huge source. You obviously need an evasion base for that. Now, a thing is, usually you're not going to get the perfect colors for what you want. You can obviously search for it, but you think that you're going to get the right colors and decent mods is very unlikely. So sometimes you have to actually recolor, which is going to cost you extra chromatic orbs, extra vault orbs, which can actually result in you paying a lot more than you anticipate. What does that mean? That means you're not very flexible with your build if you have to buy this because you're not going to change colors very often. So if you're like, okay, I want to try out this new support gem, um, maybe it's better than the other one. Well, first you'll probably have to spend, I don't know, like 50 chromatic orbs and 50 vault orbs. So that's pretty rough. But if you actually did the work, you planned out your build before on POV, you know exactly what you want. Uh, this is probably the best option on this list in general. Another downside though, if you don't have your build planned out and you have to resell because you kind of regret it, which is probably still cheaper than spending a ton of chromatic orbs and volops, uh, it's going to be really hard to resell. You have to think about other people have the same struggle as you. Uh, they would need exactly the same colors as you do. Uh, they would need to... Uh, exactly the same resistances or whatever is on there. Uh, so it's just pretty hard to resell. It also, the prices of Corrupted Six Links tanks extremely hard in the first week. Uh, next up, let's go over Tainted or Refusing. These are probably the most confusing, especially for people who didn't play Scourge. Now in 3.16, when these Corrupted Currencies were released, it was incredibly easy to do this because Tainted or Refusing dropped basically everywhere. And nowadays with Beyond Reworked, I will say this, it's usually still cheaper than Six Linking with or Refusings, even at League Start however not by a lot and you still have to corrupt your body armors but there is still very very good use cases for this and obviously i can't account for like drop rate changes or i don't know maybe there's other uses for orb fusings so they're going to get more expensive so it's back to tainted orb fusings however they're usually cheaper than orb fusings now um easy corruption with beast crafting now what i mean with this i'm going to show you in a second we're actually going to make an item from scratch so i can show you and on average, all you have to know is it takes four tainted orb fusings to six link a chest. Now, the best use case for tainted orb fusings usually is 
corrupted chests that have plus two levels. Now, you can get a ton of different plus two levels. It can be plus two duration, AOE, projectile, or just plus one level of all socketed gems, right? And these are very easily corruptible um, if you just throw Vol Orbs on a lot of them. And um, this is very helpful for bases that are extremely common, like, for example, Cherubims or Belly of the Beast, or I think the other example that I had was like Soul Mantle, stuff like that, right? Uh, very cheap stuff that drops very often because this plus two is basically like a seven link. And this is once again, mostly huge for spellcasters or damage over time builds. So as an example right here that I'm going to show you, I bought a Cherubims from trade for 20 chaos that has plus two level of socketed projectile skill gems, which for example, is incredibly good for toxic rain. Now, if you already have six sockets, there's a lot already done. So definitely look out for those on trade. But if you don't, you're just buying it like this raw. Um, what you have to do is you go here and first up you craft uh, on four sockets. So um, if you don't know, the way Tainted Jewelers and Tainted Fusings work is um, whenever you apply it, you have a 50% chance to either upgrade um, one link or one socket or 50% chance to downgrade one. For example, right here, we're just going to try it with the Tainted Jeweler. Uh, we got to five sockets, which is very lucky. And now we have another 50-50 to win. And we got the six sockets. So two on average. Uh, usually it's around about four. Now, Tainted Jewelers are usually not that expensive, though. They drop a lot more frequently than the Tainted Orb Fusings. So now there's here's the hardest part. Um, we uh, do a four link right here, which is basically the best outcome. Four linked sockets. Uh, and what you do now is you basically have the same thing over and over again. It's a one in four chance to get it from four um, to six links because from four to five is a 50-50 and then from five to six is a 50-50 again. So let's try our first one right here. We hit the five link, which is uh, nice. And now we have another 50-50. All right. In this case, we actually went back to a four link. So third tainted or refusing. Let's try again. We're back to a five link and back to four link. And now we have a free link. So in this case, we got unlucky. Let's do four linked sockets again right here. All right. 50-50 um, again. Five link. 50-50 again. This time we got the six link. So I think that was seven in total. Obviously, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't get lucky. I last league actually only used two so it's obviously rng based but if you want a chest like this which actually can carry you all the way through red maps i would say other than skin of the lords this is most likely something like this will probably be um very very strong for you early in the league now you might think tainted orb fusings are kind of risky on stuff like rare chests because you would have to corrupt first and you would have to brick it however there's an easy way to do this this is especially important for stuff like i don't know six linked um unique weapons or something you can easily uh, do the 30% quality beast right here. So that is uh, this beast right here, the, the Cry Kick Vassal. Um, that gives you automatically 30 quality and corrupts the item. However, the corruption cannot brick the item. It simply just gets the corrupt attack. Now, if you six link like this, what I would definitely tell you to do is before you try anything with Tainted Orb Fusings, six socket before you corrupt and then five link before you corrupt because if you five link before you have a 50 50 right off the gates you don't have to get from four to five links first straight up roll for five links sometimes you even get the lucky six link already and you're done uh, but if you get the five link do that before also just in case this was a little bit too confusing for you i wrote it up real quick so you can make a screenshot and then do it yourself next up we have divination cards divination cards are a huge source of six links for people especially good in solo cell phone where you can't just go to trade and buy a corrupted six link now there's a few ones that are better than others um, but the number one cheap alternative here is the chains that bind which i want to highlight uh, now this can only go up to level 80 now uh, in case you didn't know if it doesn't specify any level here it will basically go with your character level but only up to level 80 now not going higher than level 80 is especially bad if you're something like an energy shield base because they usually want higher numbers so you're going to have to get something else. You also can't roll top tier spell suppression. For something like that, you would need Dapper Prodigy. It's basically the same as Chains That Bind, just that it is item level 100, but obviously also a lot more expensive. Another cool one is Bucket Bind. I use this a lot on my Explosive Arrow Ballista build. It is very cozy to get. It's extremely good in dot builds because plus two levels on a bow does not require high item level and you can basically force stuff on it with an essence. Because essences, and I want to remind you that for the chains that bind as well, don't care about the item level. They will always apply what the essence says it applies. Um, if you don't need spell suppression and you're fine with a armor energy shield base, you can also go for Emperor of Purity. They're usually pretty cheap. The rest are maybe not used as much, but I'm quickly go over them. Draped in Dreams... 
right? Uh, we have Immortal Resolve. Some of them are pretty rare. Imperial Legacy, if you really want to go with Imperial Bow, it's usually not the best choice, even though you can probably farm them up pretty quickly. Celestial Justicar, um, Astral Plates have fallen a little bit out of favor because the Implicit doesn't do that much anymore because we now have Eldritch Implicits, but Celestial Justicar is still totally fine. Dark Mage can be really strong on a um, staff build, but usually on most casters you want to go with Shield Charge, so you can't. But if this is fine with you, then Dark Mage is going to be exceptionally cheap for a 6-link. Problem with Ethereal, once again, is it doesn't say an item level, so it's the highest is, it can go is level 80. So um, yeah, Val Regalia is very item level dependent. That's unfortunate. But for a League Starter, it's still totally fine if it's cheap. This is usually way too expensive. Uh, we have Warlord, Coronal Maul, not used that often. Now, next up, we have Bad Bases. Now, um, this basically rewards you for playing off-meta builds. Um, this is usually six link that people just don't really care about. This is especially strong on stuff like melee, uh, because two-handers, and because you don't need your six link in your um, in your body armor, that can give you very easy options, like, I don't know, a Valex six link or stuff like that. And also staff spellcasters, as we talked about earlier, there's a divination card. But people are also going to hand that in and then just list it very cheaply. So definitely look out for that if you're using a staff. And the thing that everybody should keep in mind is weak body armor bases. For example, if I wanted an Assassin's Garb, uh, it would be very pricey to get a six link of that. Now we're talking uncorrupted this time. So you can craft it however you want, which is very valuable for a ton of builds. Um, but if you just go for an eel skin tunic, which has a lot less evasion, um, you can save so much money, right? And um, the thing why this is important is not every build always scales evasion. Not every build always scales armor. So sometimes you can get a very, very cheap deal. Also, at the same time, you can craft however you want. You can actually get stats. So it kind of has both the upsides from a corrupted six link and a tabula rasa. Also, these bad bases usually don't have as much um, dexterity or intelligence strength requirement, which means it's easier to off color them. And then real quickly at the end, off meta unique six links, are also something you should always check. If you have any unique in your build that you think might be off meta, always check if people actually just drop them, right? Sometimes they drop them from Val Temple's six link. Sometimes they drop them from a certain league mechanic. And if nobody plays a build with it, well, then at some point they're going to price it down, 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 and you could get a really, really good deal. That's basically all I got. Maybe you could learn a tip or two right here. Maybe it's going to make your league start a little bit easier. I hope everybody has a good league start. Thanks a lot once again for my Twitch and my YouTube supporters. I could do stuff like this without you. Thank you so much for the support. And yeah, since I still don't have a slogan, See you next time.